Certain country, countries are known for their deep devotion and affection to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Thus, they are endearingly referred to as Pueblo Amante de Maria, a Spanish phrase that means people who are in love with Mary. Taiwan, in its own unique way, shares the same distinction due to the fact that Taiwanese people are deep down a maternal people. While we extol the strength, courage, and dedication of our fathers in supporting the family, we innately always have a special affinity for our mothers. Moreover, our personal and intimate experiences of maternal nurturing condition us to believe and to rely on spiritual motherhood that could go beyond the role of our own mothers. In times of trials and difficulties, this spiritual motherhood has been our source of hope and consolation, the origin of which we attribute to something that is of the divine. The open and lavish display of affection to Matsu and Guan Yin by a very large, huge number of devotees is an expression of this belief on, of, on spiritual motherhood that is so characteristically definitive in Taiwan. The Virgin Mary is neither Matsu nor Guan Yin. She is not a goddess, but she is definitely no less than a blessed mother to us. Although the Catholic Marian devotees in Taiwan belong to the minority sector, the intensity of devotion by the faithful to the Blessed Mother has contributed a lot to the continued existence of the Catholic Church in our island nation through the years. It is not by mere coincidence that most of the oldest churches in the country are named after the Mother of Jesus. This gives testament that the, the devotion to the Blessed Mother goes back to the origin of Christianity in Taiwan. And to date, most of our cathedrals, parishes, and shrines are noticeably still placed under the patronage of the Virgin Mary. Among the titles under which the Blessed Mother is venerated in Taiwan, two are particularly prominent, Our Lady of Fatima and Our Lady of Lourdes. We can say that Fatima and Lourdes are not mere places for the Taiwan parishioners. Rather, they are encounters of love wherever, wherever Mary assures her Taiwanese children that her son is truly alive and is with them as he promised. This is why we love Mama Mary. She brings us closer to Jesus. There is another, another title under which the Blessed Mother is also venerated in Taiwan, the Our Lady of China. Since I will call Our Lady of Chunghua, this is a lesser known Marian title, yet very special and unique for the Chinese speaking Catholics all over the world. This Chinese Madonna is a touching reflection of the encompassing love of God and the Blessed Mother, especially for every Chinese people, while at the same time the Blessed Icon also expresses our unique faith and piety. It is no wonder then that almost every diocese in Taiwan has a shrine and diocese dedicated to Our Lady of Chunghua. In Chai Diocese, this special Marian devotion has been actively promoted as early as 1972 in Mei Shrine. Out of our deep devotion to the Blessed Mother, we always wanted to give her the highest and the most solemn act of honoring her, at least liturgically speaking. Thus, we made the petition for her canonical coronation. In spite of the predicaments we encountered in applying and petitioning for this canonical coronation, in the end, the Vatican still approved our petition. We will forever be, great, be forever grateful to our beloved pontiff, Pope Francis. This pontifical coronation event is a celebration of our love and devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We love Mary because she is the mother given to us by Jesus before he breathed his last. That is why Taiwanese religiosity makes us turn spontaneously to Mary for by the power of Jesus' word on the cross, 
we will belong to her as she to us. She does not only lead us to Jesus, but she also leads us to love one another, especially our needy brothers and sisters. With Mary, we are one family with them whom Jesus loved. This is also a celebration and recognition of our Taiwanese Catholic faith. It is true indeed that to understand Taiwanese Catholics, we must understand their love for Mary. This love is demonstrated in a passionate display of affection not observed in other countries where some of the Marian devo devotions originated. When the Holy See granted our petition to canonically crown the venerated Marian image of Mason Shrine, Pope Francis did not only affirm the authenticity of our devotion that originated in mainland China, rather more importantly so, our beloved pontiff gives special salutation to the local piety of our people that embraced and allowed this devotion to flourish in our land. Thus, we can proudly say that our devotion to the sacred image of Our Lady of China in the shrine of Meishan is no longer a borrowed devotion from other nation, but rather an expression of the unique faith and devotion of the Taiwanese Catholics to the Blessed Mother. It is such a wonderful gift of divine providence that we are going to have the honor of crowning the sacred image of the Virgin Mary with the child Jesus from the shrine of Meishan, even in the midst of the ongoing pandemic and political tension. The Holy Mother and her child would like to remind us of their never-ending love and presence. With Jesus and Mary, let us renew our faith that even in the face of sorrow, there is joy, light, and glory.